Hello everyone, this is Anik and today we are covering the topic Introduction to the Asymptotic Integrations. That is Big O, Big Theta, Big Omega. Uh, this topic has in total four parts. The other three will be having the examples in a more descriptive way. So let's start with the introduction to its asymptotic notations. So what is asymptotic notations? Asymptotic notations are just some languages that allow us to analyze an algorithm's running time. Uh, it may analyze by input size for the algorithm. We also call this algorithm growth rate. Okay, these languages, for example, um, Big O, Big Theta, Big Omega, etc., are asymptotic notations. So yes. Asymptotic notations describe the running time of algorithms as n grows to a very large number. For example, infinity. And yes, of course, all results are for uh, sufficiently large inputs. Okay, so asymptotic notations include big theta, big O, big omega, small o, and small omega. We will be discussing the three most important of them and as earlier described that asymptotic notations are mostly used to represent time complexity or running time of algorithms. So let's start by first notation that is big theta notation. Big theta notation or simply the uh, theta notation bounds a function from above and from below. Okay, so it bounds from above and also from below. So it defines exact asymptotic behavior. And we uh, can say this L notation that it is a tight bound. So the big O notation simply defines an upper bound of an algorithm. So it bounds a function only from above. And we can say this notation that it is a tight upper bound. So the big omega notation, just as big O notation provides an asymptotic upper bound on n function, big omega notation provides an asymptotic lower bound. So it bounds a function only from bottom. And we can say this notation that it is a tight lower bound. I'm not going to bore you with theory. After this slide, we will be taking the examples of asymptotic notations. So the big O notation is useful when we only have upper bound on time complexity of an algorithm. So this is a tight upper bound. So we can write f of n is equals to big O g of n or f of n is element of big O of g of n. So what is formula for finding out big O? Uh, we need to find out values of c and n naught. Okay, we need to find out the values of c and n naught to prove that given function is bounded by big O, big omega or big theta. Things will get more clear after doing some examples. So let's move to example number one. Uh, now this is an example of big O asymptotic notation. So we need to prove that function 2n square plus 5n plus 6 is bounded by big O of n square. So this is g of n and this is of f of n. So this is the crux of whatever we have studied till now about proving uh, big O uh, asymptotic notation basically you need to remember uh, this uh, for big o um, notation okay so what is f of n and g of n this is f of n and this n square will be g of n now let's write this f of n and g of n in place of this inequality okay so we will get this let's start making sense that how to prove this inequality as there are two unknowns of which we need to find out the values that is c and n so basically there are multiple solutions and multiple ways of proving this inequality but the reason or justification must be valid 
so what I can do here let's start analyze the equation um, if we examine the inequality more deeply so this uh, 2n square plus 5n plus 6 should be less than or equal to this cn square so if this thing should be greater or the end this should be uh, lesser then if on the left side on the left side if I increase the values of n to every literal to n square like this then this should not be wrong as if I take C's value to be greater than 2 then this equality will always going to be proved and essentially we need to find values of C and N naught so that on those values the inequalities must be proved if you are still confused this then carry on to my next video uh, which is specifically on big O notation in which I have discussed many methods of solving these questions so whatever uh, method suits you you can use that okay after adding we get this okay so if we cut out uh, n square uh, by this n square so by dividing n square on both sides then we get C's value as 13 as you can see I have assumed here n is equal to 1 then we also getting c is equal to 3 so this is proved so I have updated the links to other three parts of this topic uh, that are on examples of these uh, asymptotic notations just check them out uh, those examples are very helpful in understanding this topic so and if you have not subscribed yet then do subscribe till then Goodbye.